right, so let's start specifically with what Guild does. I mean, we just talked about it a little bit and the fact that you help Fortune 500 companies offer these debt-free degrees to employees. How are you able to do that? Yeah, so we work with large companies to educate and upskill their workforce. We do it because it helps the worker. Obviously, we've got 88 million Americans who need upskilling and reskilling today. It also helps the company because it increases their ability to attract and retain great employees. And it also gives them a way to advance those employees from what are today's jobs into what future work jobs they're going to need five to 10 years from now. So what are some examples of companies that you're working with? And let's quantify what this benefit has meant for, for those companies' workforces. Yeah, sure. So we work with companies like Waste Management, Chipotle, Walmart, Disney, Discover Financial. Think of the frontline workforce of America, the middle American uh, worker. And uh, we've seen really tremendous outcomes for the company. So you've got a company like Chipotle, which has found that when one of their employees enrolls in our upskilling programs, and this can be anything from college prep to a certificate in people management, digital marketing, you name it, that those employees have a 7.5x higher likelihood of getting promoted on the job. We also find that it dramatically increases retention, obviously, and then that uh, the, the companies that offer a benefit like this are seeing a 25% increase in high quality job applicants who say, I want to work at a company that's going to pay for me to go back to school. So you just closed the Series E round of funding. How quickly are you growing? We are growing quite quickly. Yeah, um, it's a really exciting time. We're hiring uh, like crazy and growing our, our product and engineering team nearly 2x, which is um, really energizing for us and exciting for the mission that we've set out to work on. So you're in this interesting um, position to be having these conversations with these companies, to be seeing what the needs are on the employee side as well. Given the fact that it is Jobs Friday, we do continue to have these conversations around labor force participation, um, skills mismatches, and just the general state of the labor market, what do you see from your vantage point? Yeah, I'm thrilled to hear you say skills mismatch because I, I believe that's the crux of it. And we've been sort of ignoring that in America amidst the bull market for the last 10 years. And finally, COVID has accelerated enough things that we're talking about it. I think the core mismatch is that you've got workers who are debating whether or not to go into a low skill or no skill job. And they're saying, if I'm going to do that, I want to do it at a company that's going to arm me with skills to have a chance at mobility or upskilling or a path to promotion. And so what we're seeing is that the companies who are offering some sort of upskilling career pathway, you name it, whether that's within their company, like a Chipotle or Walmart who promote, you know, the vast majority of their employees are at the top come from the front line or companies like Disney and Lowe's who say, we want to help our employees become, you know, electricians and become nurses. Those are the companies that are winning the war for talent right now. Is there a certain degree or a certain class or type of skill set that is the most commonly sought out right now? So from the labor market perspective, we're seeing a ton of demand both from employees and employers for roles like cybersecurity, um, hmm. digital analytics, uh, data, uh, as well as allied healthcare. Which really speaks to the increasing role that tech and the digitization of everything is playing in this economy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.